Praise the Lord. Let me take it again. And come back to me. O prodigal child of God. And I will come near to you. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 5. And I will come. Near to you. To judgment. And I will be a swift witness. Against the sorcerers. The native doctors. And those who hire Sangomas against you. The Lord said he will be a swift witness against them. And against the adulterers. Those who want to destroy your family. Those who felicitate with evil. And against false swearers. They know how to go to different altars. To invoke your name there. To swear that they will destroy you. They go to places or high places. High altars of the land to summon you there in order to destroy you. And God said He will be a swift witness against them and against those that oppress the hireling in their wages, those who are being cheated, even the 30% minimum wage are not paid. But they are riding in affluence, they are hiding monies in abroad, hiding funds here and there. Digging graves in their backyards, taking your own money and hiding it there for their children not yet born. But you, you are suffering and they will not pay your salary. The Bible says, and the Lord will be a swift witness against them. Those that oppress the hirelings in his wages and the widow and the fatherless. They have collected a common patrimony and they have used it against you. They have used it to purchase guns to fight against you. They have used it to purchase all kinds of things in order to oppress you. The Lord says it will be swift against them, even as a swift witness. And those that are turn aside the strangers from their rights, and those who fear not the Lord, said the Lord of hosts. But verse 10 says, Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. All the incomes that you will have, pay tithe 10% of it. And all what belongs to the Downtrodden, you bring it to them. And prove me now here with, say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, there shall not be room enough to receive it in your own house. Because one room is too small to contain the blessings that God has prepared for his children. Because you are a child of destiny. The Lord will not just keep you and your blessings in one room. More rooms will be made. Garages will be made. Where you will pack some of them. Aerodromes will be created. Where you will pack some of the blessings of God. These things are not impossible. For with God all things are possible. And all nations shall call you blessed. For you shall be a delightsome land said the Lord of hosts. Your walls have been stout against me, said the Lord. Yet you say, where have we spoken so much against thee? And in verse 14 of Malachi chapter 3, the Lord says, you have said it. It is vain to serve God. You have said that there is no need to serve God. You can do it yourself. God is using it against you today. God is using it against you today. And you said, what is the profit? What profit is it that we have kept his ordinances? And that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts. It is not his fault, but your fault. If you are not living a life 
that you expected it is your fault and not the fault of God. And now we call the proud happy. We call the lofty happy. We call murderers happy. We call thieves happy. Those who steal what belongs to others. We call them happy men because they have money. Now we call these proud guys happy. Yeah, they that walk wickedness are set up. <laughs> Yeah, they that tempt God are even delivered to where? To be destroyed themselves. Verse 16, I said, Then they that fear the Lord spoke often one to another, and the Lord hearkened. They prayed one, and the Lord heard, heard them. And a book of remembrance was written before him, for them that fear the Lord, and that though upon his name they did all kinds of things using the name of God. But men have prayed, some people have prayed, and God has heard our prayers. And they shall be mine, said the Lord of hosts. In that day will I make up my jewels, and I will spread them as a man spread his own son that served him. If they can come back. If you can come back to God, God says He will spare you. God says He will make you beautiful again. But if you reject this call today, if you refuse to come back, there's no guarantee that God will shine His face on you anymore. Because you are living a life of reprobates. A life of disobedience to the call of God. Are you ready to return back to God? Do you want God to take over your face? Then you have to return. You have to confess. Go to your closet if you cannot go to a church. Kneel down at one corner of your room and speak to God. Talk to God and say, Father, I want to come back today. Father, I and my household, we have made a choice today. A choice to serve you and serve you throughout our lives. We are ready to come back. You can do that in your closet. Close your door to yourself. And lift your hands up to God and say, God, come and help me. I am returning back this morning. I am coming back to you this morning. Therefore, come back to me, Lord. So that things will be well with me and my family. I will reject things that are profane. I will retreat, I will retract my step from where I have gone to that is wrong. Oh, Lord, help me. And God will help you. Honestly, he will help you. May it be so. May it continue to be so. In the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. May your October be a to October of blessings. October of renewal of things. Good things. Renewal of God's blessings. Your peace and happiness. Your hands will be anointed again. That whatsoever you touch will prosper. Your tongue will be consecrated again. That every prayer you make will be answered. Your heart will be glad again. That you will be at peace with your family, with the community, and with yourself. Because the Lord has decided to shine his face on you. If you are willing and obedient to obey his word, let me give you an expo before I leave. Jeremiah chapter 3. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 33. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 33. Jeremiah is in Old Testament. Follow me to 33.
Sorry, Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 33. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Well, let me read from verse 2. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the maker thereof, the Lord has formed your miracles to establish it. The Lord is his name. He is calling on you. He is telling you to call unto me and I will answer thee. I show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus says the Lord in verse 4, the God of Israel concerning the houses of this city or every city that is listening to my word today and to this message and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight you. They come to devour you. But the Lord said, call unto me. Hunger is a weapon of government. Hunger is a weapon of the enemy. Sometimes you don't know how to fight hunger. But call unto God and he will answer. Sometimes you don't know how to fight your enemies. But today God is asking me to tell you. To call unto him. In whatever situation you find yourself. He said, call unto me and I will answer thee. I show you great and mighty things which you don't even know at all. So that when it happens, people will believe God. People will believe you that you are serving the living God. So shall it be that this month will not pass you by. This week will not pass you by. As you call unto God, as you remember God in all your situations, Call unto him and do not rely on men. If God raises men to take you out of that, it's God and not your own power. That is what you have to remember. When you call unto God, this week God will answer you. In the name of Jesus, cut off magic. Whatever situation you find yourself, call unto him. Call unto him and he will answer. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Share this message. Subscribe to this channel. And it shall be well with you. Remain blessed and lifted. Child of God. Return back to him. And he will return back to you. Refuse to be a prodigal child of God. Be a child that God will be proud of. A man, a woman after God's heart. And he will shine his face on you. Once more, in the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth, remain blessed and lifted. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.